G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm going to be telling you a story about how my house used to be haunted. Now I know there's a lot of people out there that won't believe me and that's fair enough. I certainly understand that some of the stuff I'm going to show you and tell you seems unrealistic but I'm going to stand on your side. Every piece of evidence that I show today, I'm going to say why I think it could be something paranormal and why I think it couldn't. So you're going to get two sides of the argument. Uh, basically, being at this house, um, we had a lot of weird things happen. It got to a point where um, little things just started to happen that became more than just a coincidence. Uh, one of the first pieces of evidence I'll show you is a photo. This photo is of the bed behind you. The top photo shows what Dad's bed normally looks like. And if you know Dad or you've seen my room, you know, watching my YouTube channel, you'll see that that bed is always in immaculate condition except for today because the cat's sleeping but the bed's always made so we came home one day no one had been home and we find a big butt mark on the uh, on the bed oh you sat down and you didn't fix the bed yeah i know that could be the case but if you look at this bed <laughs> i feel like i'm selling beds today if you look at the bed it's always made um and that's something that dad never forgets to do if i sit on it um i've Remember now, after years and years of getting in trouble, you've got to fix the bed. If you've seen me jump on the bed in videos after we stopped filming, I fix the bed so it doesn't look like I've been on it because I get in trouble. The bed's made all day, every day. So we come home and there's this big butt mark, which you can see in this photo. Now, sitting on that bed, I don't get anywhere near the size of that butt. Like, it's bigger than anyone. It sort of seems like an old man's ass, like a big bloke. The other little things that started happening was uh, a few little sounds. I'd be lying in bed and um, I could hear two people talking in the kitchen and footsteps and I would just pack my tags. I was not up for investigating. I was not up for going out there, but I, I could hear it. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, that's a coincidence. But when you hear everybody else go to bed and you hear two people murmuring and walking around the kitchen and then you all get up the next night and go, were you up, you up, no, no, no. It, it gets into your head. So even though that could be a coincidence, maybe my brother or my dad got up um, that was happening quite a lot. There'd be light switches you'd hear turn on and you'd go out to the kitchen and it's pitch black and that used to freak me out a little bit. After a few months of all that happening, we had a friend of a friend come to the house um, and I know you guys probably think, oh, you're getting someone to have a look, you, you know, there's no such thing, but I trusted this lady. But this lady came into her house and I was a bit confused, I was like, what's going on? And straight away she takes a right at the door straight into this room, Dad's room. She says, yes, there's a guy in here. He's uh, elderly, he's a World War One, a World War II veteran. Um, he's got an injury on his foot and he connects to you, to my dad. Now, people who know me or people who don't know, Dad's had 11 toe operations on his foot and it's still stuck. Hobbles around all the, all the time. It's caused him a lot of grief throughout his, uh, his long life. So even though it could be a coincidence, for this lady to just come in, turn right, come straight into this room where the big butt print was and say that a guy has connected to dad, not knowing dad's injury, bit of a coincidence. Um, light switches would turn on and off all the time. Um, and then there's this weird video of dad, like the light switch was turning on and off all day. And then dad tells it to turn on. And I know it's a coincidence as well, but I find this video very scary. Go again. Tell me what? Say it again. Turn off. Oh, what? Turn. After a little while of trying to move the ghost, um, she said there's something holding this one bloke in here. This one World War One veteran, there's something holding him in here. And Dad had just had his 10th or 11th toe operation, so he was out on the couch, so he couldn't drive. Dad comes in to me and says one day, I need you to do a favour, and um, you know, we gotta do it soon. And I was a little bit confused by the request. <laughs> I wasn't quite sure what he was on about. Um, and I'm like, yeah, all right. So he said, I need to put the L plates on, drive down to the beach and do something for him. So I found this really weird. It was such a weird circumstance for me to be in. I started voice recording and you hear me sort of protest saying, why are we doing this for? And you hear dad pretty sternly say, just, you know, stop being an idiot. Just do this for me. So what am I doing and why? You just go, we'll just go to Point Danger, and all you've got to do is if the tide's in, just stand, go down to where the, the lookout thing is, 
and just throw this in the water. That's all you've got to do. Can you tell me why? I'll tell you. I'll tell you in a couple of weeks. Okay. I'll tell you the whole story in a couple of weeks. I hate suspense. Well, it's got nothing to do with anything that's happening in there. I just. Well, then why are you being so suspicious? I just need to do this. I will. All. I will. But. Well, I'll tell you in a couple <laughs> of weeks. So it turned out Dad had a World War Two medal in his drawer. He's had it, he found it when he was younger at a tip and has had it all his life. Dad kept it in his room, which is coincidence that the lady turned into this room. It's coincidence that the big butt mark turned was in this room. It's coincidence that this World War One medal was in this room. So Dad um, was told that this bloke is holding on to that. <laughs> You've gone crazy. But that's what we were told. So I got told by dad to drive down to the beach and throw it in the ocean. Yeah, we're in a movie, I know. So <laughs> that's what I did, I had to do that. So that's what that voice recording was. The next uh, few months, few weeks, uh, the house started to really go up a little bit. Dad got a little video camera out and just started recording when he went to sleep. And it would record for about an hour or 45 minutes. I'm not sure if the battery ran out or ran out of room, but it would just turn off. But um, yeah, I went through those the other night and just picked up the little bumps and stuff that we would hear every night. There's nothing too conclusive. But, um, so this is what Dad recorded when he went to bed. The lady said it turns out we had three spirits in the house one bloke was a war veteran who connected to dad through the injury um, he just you know saw that dad had a similar thing and you know was like hey good bloke let's be friends <laughs> and the other was an old couple which is weird because I heard people like two people talking in the kitchen and walking around so to hear that we had an old couple in the house made sense to me they're all gone. The house has settled down. I'm not scared anymore walking around. I know there's people out there that absolutely won't believe me. And that's 100% fair. I've tried to sort of give reason to why we came to this conclusion. I've tried to give evidence and there's people out there that still won't believe me. So that's fair enough. But do I believe in ghosts? Yeah, I do. I do. And I know it sounds crazy, but um, just because we're given eyes, ears, nose, um, they're the instruments for us to pick things up. There's colours out there that our eyes can't pick up. There's sounds out there that our ears can't pick up. So just because our instruments can't see something or aren't made to pick something up doesn't mean it's not there. I know a lot of you probably think I'm crazy now, so that's, that's fair enough. But yeah, I do. I think it's a bit silly for me to go through that and just think it's all coincidences. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching again. It's been good to have you here. Hopefully um, you don't send me to a mental asylum after this because I swear this did happen to us. Put your ghost stories or paranormal stories down below. I'd love to read some if there's any out there. And uh, yeah, more videos coming soon. Thanks for watching. Cheers.